Hello class, good evening. Welcome to your uh, third week. This is our class number nine, okay? And I'm really happy to be here. It's Monday, okay? How was your weekend? How was your weekend, guys? Tell me. Are you guys happy? Are you sad? Are you sleepy? How are you feeling? How do you feel? Hmm? You don't want to talk to me? Do you listen to me? You do? Bye weekend. Very good. Excellent. And family. <laughs> nice. So family time. <laughs> that's, that's good. You know, thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else who can tell me about um your weekend? How was it? Was it good? Was it short? Easy? How was it? Today, we're going to study about clothing, okay? Maybe you already you already saw this one, right? But then we're going to review the vocabulary. We're going to review the, you know, the, all the new words that we can find in here. So let's get started because time really flies, okay? And uh, I want to thank you for completing the platform guys i know you had to do it maybe running a little bit like in a rush but at the end you did it so i'm really happy and thankful for that i'm gonna start by playing this video because this video talks about you know clothing but let's do something really quick i need a volunteer to read the class objective anybody please one volunteer just read read this class objective Me. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yes, go ahead. Okay. okay, in this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes uh, which you wear for work and for leisure. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna study about clothes, clothes, right? Clothes. That is a topic. And another keyword here is the verb wear, wear, wear. This is this is like similar to use, use, wear. Okay. And another keyword for this session is work, work. When you go to the office. When you go to the, I don't know, to the company, to the factory, work. And then leisure, you are chilling. When you are at home, you don't have much to do. You know, that's leisure, leisure time. Just chilling, relaxing, okay? So these are the words that are gonna be focused, you know, and clear, you know, points for us to start off this class. So where, Work, leisure, and clothing. Before I get started with the next uh, video, can you tell me what are some clothing items you guys know? Clothing items that you know? Clothing items, guys, that you know, that you want to tell me? How do you say camisa in English? Sure. Exactly. Exactly. Shirt. Okay. Uh, what others do you know? What other clothing items do you know? Pants. Okay, what else? Snicker. Okay, what else? Uh, did you say sneakers? Is that what you said, sneaker? Yes, shoes, sneakers. Yes, sneakers, yes, sneakers, okay. How do you say falda, Maria Vasquez? Mm, falda como, creo que era skirt, algo así. Nice, yes, Maria, yes, very good. Pero... Skirt, skirt, yes, skirt. Skirt, skirt, good. 
What else? What else? Let's see. How do you say, how do you say corbata? Who knows? Hi. Hi. Very good. How do you say, let's see. How do you say, uh, hmm, camiseta? T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay, let's do something. I want you to uh, now watch the video and then we're gonna understand the new words that are presented there. I know you know some of, some of the words already, right? But then it's okay. I'm gonna play the video, pay attention and, and repeat with me, please. This is the topic. Whose, whose genes are these? Repeat, whose genes are these? Whose genes are, are these? This. This, when we say whose class, we're talking about possession, okay? Possession. It's mine, it's yours. This is possession, okay? Possession. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, listen to the video, watch the video. Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Shirt. Sure. Belt. Belt. Jacket. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Coat. Shoes. Shoes. Blouse. Blouse. Scarf. Scarf. Skirt. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. The recording this is being recorded. Gloves. Boots. Boots. Cap. Cap. T shirt. T shirt. Shorts. Short. Socks. Sock. Sneakers. Sneaker. Pajamas. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary. I, I honestly like this, this vocabulary, guys. I don't know if you already practiced and you know how to say a, any, like, I mean, all of them, but in case you are still like doubting how to say a specific one, you can ask me, okay? But then this is something right now. As you can see, uh, if you want, let's repeat each of them first, okay? You do it after me, please. This one is shirt. Repeat this, shirt. Shirt, shirt. Hi. Sure. Tie. Tie. Belt. Belt. Coat. 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 Jacket. Coat. Jacket. Jacket. Pants. Pants. The suit. Repeat. Suit. 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 Don't say sweet because sweet is, is a candy. Sweet is a candy or a sweet can be the most expensive uh, hotel room. That's a suit. But then this is suit. Suit. A suit has a jacket, pants. A suit is the complete, right? That, that's a suit. All right. Uh, shoes. 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 Raincoat. Raincoat. Okay. Dress. Dress. High heels. High heels. High heels. High heels. Guys, this is for work, right? Work, formal things, formal things. You go to the office, formal, formality. 
But then we have leisure, you know, more casual, more relaxing. That's this is leisure, leisure time, leisure. Let's let's start repeating. Hot, 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 hot. cup, cup, cups, cups. cup, t-shirt, 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 not teacher. It's teacher is another thing. It's t-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> don't say to me t-shirt. Oh, I'm not a t-shirt. I'm a teacher. You know, it's different. Mm -hmm. Teacher and t-shirt. T-shirt, teacher. T-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Sweater, 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 sweater. Gloves, gloves, jeans, gloves, jeans, 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 jeans. Shorts, shorts, shorts. Socks, socks, socks. Be, be careful with this one. There's a really bad word, really profane word. Una mala palabra de so. Yes, this is, I'm not going to say it, but just a very like tiny change in the vowel sound, it will change the meaning. So, uh, so it, this is socks, 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 socks. Boots. 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 boots, boots, uh -huh. boots. Sneakers. Sneakers. boots. Sneakers. sneakers, 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 pajamas, 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 swimsuits, swimsuits. Now, what is your what is your favorite one? Emma, what's your favorite one? What is your favorite clothes on the picture? Um, my favorite clothes is uh, jeans. <laughs> jeans. So you like wearing jeans? Nice jeans. Okay, good. Okay, let's do uh -huh. something. I'm gonna. Uh huh. Let's see, Cesar. What is your favorite? Okay, your favorite one is, let's see, Jesenia, what is your favorite clothes? My favorite clothes is dress. Dress, okay, dress, I know, thank you so much, dress. Okay, and do you have any color in specific? Any uh, color that you like? What kind of color do you do you prefer? When you we're talking about dress, do you like uh, pink colors, uh, green colors, or light blue colors? What's your favorite color for dresses? Mm, my favorite dress color blue and red, yeah. white. Okay, so the dress color for you is blue, okay, and red, white, okay. If it is red, so it so so it tell you lady and red, right? <laughs> La chica de rojo. Right. <laughs> that's a good one, actually. That's a good song. All right, so let's move on. Let's see. Uh huh. Let's make uh let's make a quick exercise. Okay. This is gonna be like this. I'm gonna divide this class. It's not a class actually, it's just the the it's just the, the board. This is my board. I'm gonna draw a line here like this, and I'm gonna write here work, which is office, factory, right? Uh companies and so on. And I'm gonna write leisure here. So when I say leisure means relaxing, just relaxing, right? Chilling, not work, <laughs> working, you know, making money, but working. So what do you what do you wear for work? What do you wear for 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 leisure? So an example can be I wear formal clothes or formal shoes for work. Right, leisure. I wear t shirts at home, chilling, you know, at or I don't know, depend, right? This is leisure time. So let's make sentences using clothing items. Follow the same structure. You don't have to, you don't have to, uh, Look for something different. 
follow the same the same structure. I'll give you three minutes. Will. I will. No. for a war. For work. We're put for for work. For work. Um cup. Cup. All right, I wanna see examples here, guys. Let's see who wants to uh, maybe use your chat sure. or open your microphone and tell me sure. you know, one sentence. Sure. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. What ideas do you have in mind? Yo, uh -huh. uh, I wear jeans for work. Nice. I wear jeans for work. Nice. It's interesting. I wear boots for work and cap. Okay, Luis. I wear shorts and, and shirts at home. Nice. Yeah. Relaxing, right, Luis Antonio? Good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody? What other examples can you think about? I would like to read, I wear tie for work. Nice, Margarita. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wear tie. I don't like ties because I know that it's really, it's really, um, the weather is really hot, you know. Wearing ties is really uncomfortable. For me, it's really uncomfortable, but, you know, Sometimes due to formality, we have to, or maybe due to dress code, because some companies require you to, you know, dress like this. If there is no AC, wow, it's gonna be wow, it's gonna be really hard. I remember that when I was working at the university, I used to teach at the at the university. They basically force us to wear ties because of formality. Let's see, Emma mm -hmm. and Cesar. Cesar says I wear dress pants. Ah, oh, nice dress. Dress pants. I wear formal dress for work. Oh yeah, nice, nice, interesting. So you wear dress. What color, Emma? What color dress do you wear? Color black. Very formal, right? <laughs> I li I like black. I like black because black is really formal. It's very elegant. Okay, so what else? Anybody else? One more minute, come on, give me more examples. The idea is to practice, to give me, use the vocabulary presented. Use the vocabulary, guys. Try to use the vocabulary presented on the, on the previous slide, previous video. I wear high heels. I wear suits. I wear, um, pajamas when I'm home, you know. I wear sunglasses at the beach. Yes, Margarita, awesome, sunglasses. Every day I used to wear shorts at home, okay? Every day I wear shorts at home, yes. Yeah, you can say used, but used to is not, it's not, it's not uh, like, you can remove it and it still makes sense. Without use, it's okay. Because wear and use are the same thing. I wear raincoat for work, yeah? Okay, especially when it's raining, right? Then use raincoats, okay, good. Short, yes? Cesar, short is not a choice. All right, good. Every day I like to wear shorts at home. Mm -hmm. That's good. I wear jeans and sneakers for university. Yeah, Gabriela, that's, you know, 
really comfortable, right? Comfortable, you know, sneakers and jeans. So you so you relax. It's good. Good job. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. We're gonna move on with the. See, I'm gonna play the next idea here. Now, I need a volunteer to read the lesson objective. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna choose one, or do I have any volunteer? Who wants to read the class um, objective? Anybody? One volunteer, please. Just one. Just Come on. Just huh? with layer, the color, and, and how this topic in uses in their life. Awesome. All right. Quickly, oh. let's see. Let me test to see how much you know about colors. How do you say better than English? Green. 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 How do you say verde oscuro? Green. Dark green. Dark green. Dark green. <laughs> Dark green. <laughs> how do you say verde claro? Light green. Light green. green. You, see, you are, you are like fire. <laughs> how do you say, how do you say azul? Blue. 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 Como el mar. How do you say celeste? Celeste. Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. How, do you, how do you say gris? Gray. Gray. How do you say uh, el color del sol? No, I'm just kidding. How do you say uh, morado? Purple. 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 Awesome. How do you say uh, Pantera Rosa? Pink, Pink. Panther. Pink, Pink, Pink Panther. Pink Panther. <laughs> Pink Panther. Yeah, it's Pink Panther. <laughs> Pink Panther. How do you say uh, Plateado? Wow. Silver. Silver. Good. How do you say, uh, let's see, I know se nos pueden todas. Good. How do you say, uh, let's see, Café? Brown. Wow. Brown. 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 Como el brownie. Brown. El brownie. You remember brown. the brownie? Brown. El color del brownie? Ah, brown. Café. Brown. Okay, yeah. how do you say dorado? Gold. 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 It's, it's gold. Gold. Golden. Mm -hmm. Gold. Nice. I see you know them already. That's good. Let me... Um, Let's see, let me play the next video. Just listen to it, please. Here we go. It's this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. White. Light gray. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Dark gray. Beige. Beige. Light brown. Light brown. 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 Dark brown. Dark brown. Black. Black. Red. Red. Pink. Pink. Orange. Orange. Yellow. Yellow. Light green. Light green. 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 Dark green. Dark green. Light blue. Light blue. 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 Dark blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're Purple. going to... See, what is your favorite color, Carla Lopez? My favorite color is black. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Uh, oh, let me ask Ana Lopez. What is your best friend's favorite color? My color preference is blue. Blue. Oh, that's your favorite color. Okay, let's see. Let me ask Cesar. Cesar, what is your best friend's favorite color? 
I like red. Oh, you like red and your best friend's favorite color? Emma, what is your best friend's favorite color? Do you, do you have a best friend? Uh, my best friend, uh, my best color. Uh -huh. favorite. My my best friend's um, favorite color is my best friend favorite color is pink um blue interesting interesting combination pink and blue and what about you what about you uh, emma and you what I is don't your, know. you don't have a specific color no no maybe black no Maybe red, so they so they call you lady in red. No, okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Let's see, Luis Roberto, what is your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is blue. Blue, okay. Elias David, what is your favorite color? Carmen Isabel, what is your favorite color? Luis Escobar, what is your favorite color? Jacobo, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is the, the blue. Dark blue, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good choice, dark blue. I like dark blue. Okay, let's listen to this conversation, okay? Here we go. To listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do I, This is crazy, right? <laughs> I like this conversation. <laughs> has this yeah. ever has this ever happened to you? Have you ever been in a similar situation? Do you understand the conversation, guys? What is going on here? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Yes. Have you ever had a similar situation? Have you ever has this ever happened to you? you know, similar that, that you are washing your clothes and you put everything in the laundry machine and all of a sudden you forget there's this clothing item that these colors and then especially if it's a dark color and then wow, it's a disaster. Has this ever happened to you? Yes, in yes. my home. <laughs> yeah okay yeah let me let me tell you a personal anecdote i remember that i was working in uh in a school in san salvador colegio augusto valta i was working there and they used to give us a polo shirt like a white shirt mm -hmm. and then um once i put all my clothes into the laundry machine you know and then i forgot that there was this towel green towel and I put it in the same place. And then when I realized it was all my clothing had turned green, including my, my polo shirt. So the problem was the next day that I had to go to the school and I didn't have any other, and it was mandatory to, to wear the, the uniform. At the end, you know, I was really embarrassing. That is because, you know, we sometimes are not focused on what we're doing. So, so this doesn't happen to you and to me. We have to be very focused, right? Uh, this is this is white separated. You see the colored things? Yes, it is, it's white. And then blankets there, and, and this is like 
to, to be at home and this is to go to work. Plus we have to separate. Well, so we don't make a disaster. Let's see, I need two to practice this conversation right now. Who wants to help? Two volunteers. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Good, thank you so much. Go ahead, please. Three, okay. two, one, go. Great. Great. Or... <laughs> <laughs> <Get in. laughs> Luis, 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 uh, Star Maria Vasquez continues. Okay, you start this three to one. Okay, smart. Wait, where clothes are dry? Where is my new blog? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Why? It is my. It's a disaster. Oh no! Other clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It is new blue jeans. What jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Oh, they're mine. I'm sorry. Sorry. I messed up. <laughs> La <reguero. laughs> I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, it happens. It happens. Okay. Good job. I like it. Anybody else? Any other? I need two more to participate. Two more to participate. Anybody else? Who wants to read? It's important that you practice. Okay. So don't be shy. Don't be shy. Practice. Now let's try to exaggerate a little bit on that conversation. Great. You see the exclamation mark? This one? There's, there's an exclamation mark. You want us to make that emphasis. Great. <laughs> like, I'm happy. Great. Our clothes are dry, you know? I'm, I was waiting for them to be dry. Now, but there is a problem. The problem is... This blue, this new blue blouse, right? Okay, I need a bottle, two volunteers to read again, please. Who wants to do it? Anybody? Volunteers. Cesar, thank you. One more. One more. Thank you, Emma. Good job, Emma. Okay, Cesar and Emma. There you go. Cesar, you start. Go ahead. Great. Our crops are great. Where is my new blues? Uh, what color is it? It's white. Uh, here's a uh, light blue blows. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. White. It is me. It's a dessert. Oh no, uh, all clothes are light blue. Her is the problem. If her new blue jeans, shoes, jeans are they? Oh, they're my, mine. Sorry. Oh man, they're mine. Look at this is the blue jeans. You know, this is the problem. You see the problem. <laughs> This is the problem. This is this is the problem, and that's why you know all the the clothes are you know light blue. Good job. Let's see. Let's let's analyze this conversation. First of all, I want you to repeat after me because it's important that we practice on, on the pronunciation. Say it with me, please. Great. Repeat. Great. Great. Say it. Practice. Great. 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 Our clothes Great. are dry. Our clothes. Dry. Our clothes dry. are dry. 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 Is dry like are you? Dry. dry is the opposite of wet. This is the opposite of wet. When it's wet, it's because it, you know, you just finished washing the clothes, it's wet. And then after it's wet, it turns dry. After you put it under the sun shines, it turns dry. Or if you're using a dryer. Let's continue. Where, repeat, where, 
Where? Where is my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? What color is it? What color, what color is it? It's white. What is it? It's, it's white. white. It's white. white. Here's a. Here's, here's, here's a. Here's a. Here's a, here's a here light a, blue blouse. Here's, here's blue. a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it, is it, is it yours? Is it yours? Okay. Is no. 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 It's not no. mine. It's not, it's not mine. mine. Wait. It's mine. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's, it is mine. It is mine. It is mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes, All our clothes are light blue. Light here's, blue. here's a problem. Here's, here's a problem. Here's a problem. It's this new blue jeans. It's this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? Jeans are they? Uh, 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 they're mine. They're mine. Sorry. Oh, they're mine. Sorry. 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 Sorry, Maria. Sorry, Sorry Carla. Sorry, Yesenia. Sorry. 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 Sorry, sorry. 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 Good. Mine, sorry. What questions do you have? Best questions about this. Do you understand this conversation? Is it really important that we understand the conversation? So you understand it. What questions do you have? Yes. 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 It's very clear. No questions. No. no. No, all right. No. All right. Let's see. Before we continue, there is something important that I want to address in this next 20 minutes. And this is how to use um okay, let me let me circle some of them. How do you name yours? Yours and mine. What is the which and category mine. do they belong? Do you know? I I uh -huh. Yours and mine, these ones, do you, have, do you know the name of them, like in grammar? How do we recognize them? My. Yours, name, mine. So what is the name of this? Is the possession, no? Possessive, possession, yes. And are they adjectives or do we have a different name for them? What do you know? Different name or the same adjectives? What did you watch on the next videos? Right, no problem. Let's, let's, let's understand this together, okay? Let me write this, I'm gonna stop because you have a, an assignment today. And this is the this is yes, I'm hold on. I'm gonna erase now. This is I'm going to erase it, but I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna say we're gonna talk about look uh how let's say pronouns or subject pronouns, subject, subject pronouns, 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 but we have we also have possessive hold on let me um, let me go the way until here yes i'm gonna say possessive adjectives but we also have class we also have possessive what what is missing here possessive what is missing possessive pronouns and this is the today's topic this is today's stuff, okay? So let's understand how it how this works. Okay, let me see. Let me embrace a little bit this one and this one. All right. Having this in mind, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Let's start with the basic. Okay. Tell me the subjects, please. This is key. We need to understand the difference between this one. Tell me the subjects, please. Who knows the subjects? 
First one is subject pronouns, guys. Come on, give me the first one. I. I next. I. Uh huh. You. All right. He. All right. She. Good. We. Okay. Hold on. I forgot to eat. Uh huh. Eat. Nice. And then. We. All right. You. You again, right? They. The same day. Okay. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. All right. What about now possessive adjectives? What do you remember? My. My. Good job. What else? Your. Your. Nice. What else? His. His, awesome. Next one. Her. Her, good job. Next one. Our. Mm, it's, yes, and then it's our, ah. yes, our. Ah, it. and, and then. There. There, awesome. Now, let's talk about what we want to talk about today. This is the main topic. What is the first one here? Possessive pronouns. May. Mine, uh -huh. mine, no, mine. it's mine. okay, mine, yours, yours, his, hmm? which one, his. His. his, okay, there you go, Her. hers, hmm. then, his. It. it's, okay, or, Ours, okay, Our. Hold on. and then, Our. and then, Our. Our. There. There. theirs, okay, Our. so this is the basic, right, we need to understand, we need to differentiate then, when we use a possessive adjective and when we use a possessive pronoun, that is a challenge, guys, so my question is, how do we use them? Based on your understanding, based on your ideas, when do we use possessive adjectives? Who can give an example with the first category? Let's only use this ones. Who can give an example? Any example, any idea? See, I'll give you one minute for you to think about. What ideas come to your mind? My name. <laughs> I like that is the basic. My name is. Yeah. My right. name is Luis. <laughs> my name is Luis. You're using my. You say my, you say my, right? My name, my name is. And then you say, you don't, you don't say, you don't say my name. Yes, right? Mm -mm, this is not correct. We know that this is incorrect. Okay? So we say, mm -mm, we do not say this one because we know that we say mine. This is okay. But then how do I use then the possessive pronoun? That is my question. This one is okay and this is not okay. But then how do I use my and mine? Because the same thing applies for, for the two things. Let's analyze them. Okay, let's see. What about mine? How do I use it? Let me start with the questions. Uh -huh. Go ahead. This is my... Say it again. Como una posesión, como... This is myself, for example. This is, but como... if I say, this is myself. This is, this is my cell phone. If I say this is my cell phone, this one is correct. But if I say this is my cell phone, this one is incorrect. No, we don't say this, incorrect. So what do we, how do we use mine then? 
Let me tell you this. So we understand the use of possessive adjectives. We don't we don't say um whenever we use possessive adjective class, we have to say possessive adjective, possessive adjective plus noun. This is easy, right? My cell phone, my water, my uh, glasses, my uh, watch, my computer. But then it doesn't happen with possessive pronoun. That is the challenge that we have. Ese es el reto que tenemos. That is a challenge, okay? With mine, yours, his, hers, it's ours and theirs. So any idea, any idea? Alguna idea? Do you remember my the life, uh -huh. My life, my life, uh, uh, Andres. Okay, good. But what else can you tell me about possessive pronouns? I'm gonna give you one example, no worries. Your homework is to memorize, to learn by heart these ones, okay? You need to understand you know, possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. You have to practice, 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 and, and understand, you know, the differences. At least now, you know, each of them. But I'm going to give you an example in a sentence. Can I erase? I'm going to erase this, okay? Because I want to give you an example. Erase, 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 erase everything. Erase, erase, okay. Now, to use possessive pronouns, mine, yours, and so on, I need to give you with more context. For example, I can say, whose, whose car is this? Or whose is this car, right? Whose is no, this my, car? No, it's mine. Exactly. No, it's, mine. it's not mine. I cannot say, let's, let's, let's take a look at the conversation. Let's, let's see the car. Because that is, that is the point. We analyze the conversation and we see how they use it. Because look at here, just pay attention here. Where is my new blood? Like this one, here's, here's a light blue, light blue blood. Is it yours? As you can see, yours is talking about what? Hmm. Okay, that belongs to that person who's speaking, but is it yours? They're talking about the blows. The light blue blows. No, it's not mine. So then it's a mistake if I say, let me, let me, let me uh give you a, another example. If I say, hey, let's see, hey, uh, I don't know, Jesenia. Look, look, look at this, look at this. Nice, uh, what? Nice watch. And then I say, is it yours? You see the difference? I cannot say, is it your? Because if I, if I say, is it your? I have to say, watch. Is it your watch? But if I don't want to say watch, I want to say the pronoun. Is it yours because i already know that we're talking about the watch the pronoun substitutes the, the 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 noun which is the watch now let me give you another example don't yesenia when i say yesenia yesenia has a nice car then i say uh-huh What a night, what a, what a beautiful, what a beautiful 
car. What a beautiful car is that? No. Is C. Hers. Hers. It belongs to it belongs to someone, right? It's it her. Hey, you know what? That's a nice car. Is it hers? Is it his? Is it theirs? So basically, when I'm using guys, this is the this is key. When I'm using the pronoun, I am substituting. You know, I'm not mentioning. You know, the the pronoun, the noun, basically, because the pronoun you know, comes to substitute, comes to replace the noun. That's why it's a pronoun. But if I wanna say, you know, if I wanna say the, the, the adjective, I have to say like this, what a beautiful car is that, or, or that is, okay? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it your car? I have to mention your car when I, when I don't say the letter S, here, then it's mandatory that I use, you know, the object, okay, or the noun. Basically, if I don't, if, if I don't want to mention the noun or the object, then I say the pronoun. But if I mention the possessive adjective, then I say the object. As a rule, we have to say, well, possessive, possessive, possessive uh, adjective, requires is mandatory that we use that we use plus nouns always nouns for example my car your car her car so as you can see here guys i'm using the noun car car and car just to give you an example but if i don't say if i don't want to mention the 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 noun then I use the possessive pronouns. That's that's the reason. But then when I use the possessive pronoun, I have to provide you with more context. Okay. Now tomorrow we are going to study more about this topic, but we need to understand it. So I'm gonna give you one homework because I only have like uh four minutes. What is your homework for tomorrow? Well, this is your homework. Tomorrow I'm gonna start the class by asking. This question, I want you to investigate. Investigate, write it down, but write this on your note. Investigate, investigate the difference between possessive, possessive adjectives and possessive, possessive pronouns. But not only the difference, okay? Look for sentences, like look for examples. And tomorrow you're gonna tell me, hey, I understood, you know, I know how, how to use possessive pronouns and, and I know how to use possessive uh, adjectives, but that's gonna be for tomorrow, okay? And then uh, we're gonna discuss about it tomorrow but then you start looking and investigating because as of now, we don't have much time. It's almost time, we only have three minutes left. Okay, is it clear? Is the homework clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, and then as of now, no worries about, maybe it's a little bit confusing, but I promise we're gonna have this clear tomorrow. You know, but I want you to read more and then we're gonna start brainstorming the ideas. And this is the one, this is the other one. No, we don't say this, we say the other one and so on. Okay, so questions, okay. questions, guys, questions. No, no. Are you sad? Tan triste? No. Are you happy? All right. Uh, so tomorrow we're gonna focus on that. And thank you so much for connecting, guys. I really appreciate your, you know, punctuality and also your responsibility. De ese grupo no tengo ninguna, ninguna este, solicitud. De hecho, de los otros sí, que terminen ustedes, todos aparentemente han terminado la plataforma. No se desconecten, más vamos a seguir practicando y practicando, así vamos a entender los temas que son confusos. Hoy trataré de pegarme siempre de la plataforma. No vamos a usar nada más sobre la plataforma para que se quede claro todo lo que ya respondieron, si hay muchas dudas aún en la plataforma. 
Okay. Okay. Well, good let's take good care. Night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you good tomorrow. Good night. Bye.